Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another edition of Show You Can, the channel where we talk about Street Fighter, Capcom, especially Capcom in the 90s, and all of their glory. But we also talk about other things, other old retro things, whether it be retro or old anime that inspired me, or of course, just typical gaming. Anything that pretty much had an influence or impact on my upbringing. As in my last video, I discussed Ranma a popular anime back in the day and one that I grew up watching and one that I definitely loved but more importantly I was talking about a game a Ranma Super Famicom game now Super Famicom is the Super Nintendo but just what they called it in Japan so how was I able to play this game because of a special cool system called the Super NT Super NT is this wonderful system that you see on my screen <clears throat> This system allows me to play pretty much Japanese and English games. I can play any title that I want, at least obviously from the Super Nintendo, not just any game. But it's a pretty cool device. Um, it essentially also plays the game in pretty much perfect emulation, uh, or at least close to perfect. Um, most games or most um, emulations or most devices kind of always have like a glitch or a bug whether the audio might be a little off the sound effects um, something's usually you know off with the version of the game this actually plays it really close to how it was supposed to be how it was intended and how it came out on the Super Nintendo at that time so like I said in my last video I briefly spoke about the Super NT for about like 30 seconds or so so I thought I would do a full-on video where I just talk about the device as I think it is awesome and I'm so glad that my brothers and I purchased it now this is me just showing off the device of course that's the back of it it's from a company or group called analog they went ahead and made this we ordered it online as that's the only way you're able to purchase it and this is just me again looking at the little device it is little very small very light um, you see there's a power button reset button and then obviously see here in the back as I've discussed earlier, you have a uh, AC adapter port for the power plug, which is a universal power supply, so it doesn't matter. And then you have an HDMI cable, so that way you can play this, these games in 1080p. The resolution doesn't look too bad. They also do have a standard mode, so where you can play how it looked when the game first came out. But I'd rather just stick to the 1080p, and even though it shortens the screen, still looks better. Here you got the controller lock sockets, just two. Um, fortunately, it does not come with controls, at least, I don't know if when it first came out they had a controller version, but um, the one that we got didn't have come with controls, but it's okay, we already have Super Nintendo controllers, so it wasn't an issue. And yeah, it's a pretty neat device all in all. Um, definitely, as I said before, if you are into retro gaming, especially the Super Nintendo, this is a must-have, as it pretty much will replace your Super Nintendo, um, since it pretty much does both and then here this is me just looking of course at the box I'm just looking at um, the inside obviously what it came in as you see here the box is a little dirty pardon and also you see my my laptop right there on the screen <laughs> again also part of that but here this is from analog see analog super NT um, of course, it says description, 1080p, HDMI, also tells what's in there. It does come, I forgot, should have mentioned this, Super Turrican, which is like a little uh, it's a Super Nintendo game. It actually comes in it, and this is also like a little up, updated version, so that's awesome. Um, definitely, definitely cool, cool, cool stuff. And then after that, we have the cables that it came with. So this is obviously the HDMI cable that you do plug in it's their own it's not some just standard HDMI cable it's the actual like analog they made the version as you can see the logo here <laughs> on the HDMI cable so you kind of can't confuse it and then we also have the power plug which that says a universal power supply I know sometimes in different regions they have different standards for the amount of wattage and the coating but this is a universal power supply so it works on um, in any any region any country so it's all good there um, so definitely really really cool and then here we have the old Super Nintendo now you're saying why am I showing the old Super Nintendo and it is old as you can see from the uh, <laughs> yellow little colorings no longer white but I'm showing this because obviously we do have a Super Nintendo and 
the Super Nintendo it only plays um, Western games, American games. Um, so what I'm going to show later in the video wouldn't be possible on this system. Um, still works, which is surprisingly really, really, really cool. Um, but yeah, that's my old Super Nintendo. Again, really, really dirty. So I definitely want to do something else. And as I just showed you real briefly there, that was my Japanese Super Street Fighter 2. Um, this, of course, is Super Street Fighter 2 from Japan for Super Famicom. As you see, it has a little logo up top, but it's a little different. And if you'll notice the size of it, it's much wider and bigger. It's bigger than our standard cartridges over here in the West. So, it may be showing, of course, the back, showing you the Japanese text. Um, I bought this in a store, as I love, you know, I love Street Fighter, so. But, obviously, it would not work on the standard Super Nintendo here. As I demonstrate, when you put it inside the cartridge slot, look, it doesn't really sit in. It kind of shifts back and forth, left and right. It's not able to click in. Um, with the way they designed the cartridges between here and over in uh, Japan, uh, their cartridges are actually a little fatter, a little wider. So the actual um, part where you know you get the data, it doesn't register. It won't latch on a click. So to play a Japanese game, you would need a Japanese Super Nintendo or our Super Famicom in this case. But if you are lucky and you can get this super cool item, the Super NT, and guess what? You can play both. Don't have to worry about that issue. As here, you see me showing Super Street Fighter 2 again. I'm gonna demonstrate by putting it inside the Super NT. And one thing I want you to notice right away is, boom, it clicks in as if it's, you know, good. Uh, boom, you turn the system on. And again, pardon the mess in the room, but this is kind of like our entertainment kind of section. So we got multiple games, multiple things lying around. So that's why we don't really keep it up. But there you go. Here's the logo you're presented with on the screen and boots right up, takes you right to the main menu. You've got the settings where you would change the resolution, you got tools, you want to go ahead and implement codes, and then you can just go ahead and play the cartridge right there from the slot, which I'm going to go ahead and do. And then boom, it loads right up. That is the Super Street Fighter 2 from Japan, which normally would not work on our console, but there with the Super NT from Analog, it boots right up. So it's awesome. Obviously, I'm just doing a quick run through. This is me just picking Ryu right away just to show and demonstrate that this does work. Um, part of me probably should have had maybe the volume a little up so you can hear some of the sound, but I think you get the picture. And this is me with one hand. And again, I just want to demonstrate that I am actually doing this. That's not, <laughs> so that's why I showed the controller real quick and me pressing the buttons. But again, I can't really do any motions because I'm only using one hand. So I'm just kind of moving around, just demonstrating that it is responsive and it does work. It doesn't matter what controllers you use. You know, it's as long as it's a Super Nintendo controller, you just plug it in, the Super NT will read it. So it's awesome, because we only have about two controllers, but it um, works just fine. And see, here's a device, very small, as I said before, but here I go to reset it, just so it loads back right up and boom, just like the old school Super Nintendo it loads right up and then this is me just kind of showcasing the intro because why not super street fighter 2 is one of it might be my favorite so between that and alpha 2 honestly for my favorite street fighter titles i would probably give the edge to alpha 2 but this is definitely really close um i've always loved street fighter since street fighter 2 but super street fighter 2 definitely is what propelled it or took it to another level um, cause Street Fighter 2, I was really, really young, even though I was, I remember and I was playing it, Super was like the first time where, you know, I was like actively aware, involved, and knew what was going on. So, yeah, this is me just looking at the demo, as you see the Japanese text, which, again, in our version, I don't know why we got rid of that quick little description in the, in the profile. Like, we have the profile, or recap, or bio, I should say, in our version. Um, in the Western version, I guess you say, but that little description you saw at the bottom, for some reason we got rid of that, which kind of displays a little bit of their likes and dislikes. But yeah, folks, there, that's me just loading up the Super NT, just showing you. That's how I was able to play Ranma and any other Japanese titles. It is a really, really cool device. If you're able to get some, please go to Analog and check them out. They kind of do uh, sell out quick. I had to wait to get this one took quite a bit 
but I definitely think it is worth the purchase if you are like me and you love your old school retro titles and you want to play the old school games, i.e. the Super Nintendo, and how they were pretty much supposed to be played. Um, so yeah guys, that's it. Quick little video about the Super NT. Hope you like it. Again, if you want to see more content like this, please let me know down in the comments below. I want you to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And let me know too what's your favorite uh, old school title, old school game, or if you also have the Super NT or the Mega SG, which is the Genesis version. Let me know how you like it, if it works to your liking. And again, if you want to see more vids about cool little devices like this. Take care, guys. Have a blessed day.